Hey guys, how's it going? So, I need your help. And not only do I need your help, I need the, the beginner players in the house, those guys who've only been doing for like one, two, three, maybe four, five, five months. I need you guys. I need you guys who are like new to the game because I'm kind of out of touch. Now to kind of explain what's going on right now, and I'm not supposed to say anything right now, in fact, I don't even know if this is actually going to happen. I'll give you the vague details. Basically, a, a, a corporation, a company, contacted me and they were like, Brandon, we, we like your stuff. It'd be really cool if you made us like, I don't know, seven or eight kind of beginner tutorials on, on how to yo-yo. Does that sound like something you could do? And of course, me being me, I was like, easy, don't worry, don't worry, I'm a professional, I got this, I got this. And then I went and tried to like teach my roommate how to yo-yo, and then I realized I'm a really bad teacher. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna like rush to my defense and be like, Brandon, you know, you told me how to do this, you told me how to do that, you told me how to, but, but here's the thing, right? I, I have the good fortune of being a YouTuber within the yo-yoing community. And everything I teach you guys is, is on the foundation of something that someone else has taught you. For instance, like how to flow like a yo-yo player. I didn't teach you guys the tricks that you're ultimately gonna try and make flow. I, I just told you about this overarching kind of top level advanced concept and then you guys can kind of piece it together from, from there. And I'm good at that because I, I understand who my audience is. I understand that you guys understand what yo-yoing is. You know, you've gone through the yo tricks tutorials, you've gone through the yo-yo expert tutorials, you've gone through the cabin tutorials, you've gone through these things that I don't need to break down for you in order for you to understand what I'm saying. So when I say like, you know, th this trick flows, you get it. Whereas with a complete beginner, I, I don't have any of that. When, when, I, when I teach someone how to throw a, like a forward sleeper, I'll just go, yeah, hold it up like a thing like this and then throw it down. But, but here's the thing, no one, like, that's not the first step. First you've got to like figure out how to like put the yo-yo string within and you have to explain how to like create that little knot thing. Then like most people kind of screw it up on the first go and they try to wind the yo-yo and then they can't because they don't know how to do that thing. And then even something really, really small, like you know how like when you hold the yo-yo, like the string's supposed to be on top, right? Well, well, some people will try to throw it like that and then it doesn't come out and they're like, oh, what, what's going on? And it's those little things that I haven't had to think about for like years that I'm really bad at explaining. And, and here's the thing, like they said, hey, you know what would be cool if you kind of made up a yo-yo trick um, that you could then teach to the other players. And I was like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'll make up a yo-yo trick. Whoa. Looks pretty easy, right? This is actually a very difficult trick for beginners. Like if, if a beginner was to do this with like limited skill, this is what it would probably look like. What the? I didn't, I didn't even see that. I was like, that's a pretty easy trick. Like who can't just do like a whip and just like whip it around. Like that's super easy. It, no, I've got years of, of codified subconscious experience and muscle memory. I've become really bad at this, but I, I want to do a good job. I want to do a good job. This is, I, I don't interact with beginner players a lot. I definitely want to bring more people into yo-yoing because I, I love yo-yoing. I definitely enjoy it. So I, I, the first thing I want to do to kind of ask you guys is, are there any specific beginner tutorials that you guys really enjoyed that things that broke down and helped things click for you? Could you comment those down below so I can take a look at those? And then, and then the next question I wanted to ask you guys is, all right, as a beginner player, um, it, what were your first eight tricks? Did you, like, what were your first kind of eight yo-yo tricks that you ever learned? I don't even remember what my, what my first eight yo-yo tricks were. I, I genuinely don't. But but if, if you were to be like, okay, these were my eight tricks that were the launch pad for the next kind of tricks I do now, what, what were they? Now, I'm thinking I'll start off with like the sleeper, because that's a very foundational trick. Everyone should know that. And then from the sleeper, I'll definitely go into walk the dog. Everyone asks that. And, and I feel as if everyone knows you're a yo-yo player, if you do walk the dog, you're literally prepared for anything. Because this is how it goes. When someone asks you, hey, you're a yo-yo, can you walk the dog? And you just say, yes, I can. And you walk the dog, that's it. You got nothing more to prove. But then after that, like, what, 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 what do I put in there? Like, do, do I put in something like the breakaway? I mean, that's a pretty, pretty boring 
trick, right? Like, if I was a beginner player, I wouldn't want to learn that. Like, what the hell is this going to do? L little do you know that, like, this trick is literally the basis for, like, at least 70% of yo-yo tricks out there in the competitive world. So, yeah, do I teach the breakaway? I, I definitely think I'm going to do something like... The Eiffel Tower, like that's a really cool trick. I remember when I first learned that, I'm like, I am the bomb. Like something I thought would be really cool was like the trick UFO. Like, how, like that's a super easy trick. Like, like look at this. Oh, what? UFO, easy. But it's not. In order to learn the, the UFO, you need to A, know how to throw it. You need to B, know how to do a breakaway. You need to C, be able to do that breakaway horizontally. You need to be able to do it strong enough, and then you have to get it back up to, like, UFO is an actually pretty difficult trick, and I, I, it never occurred to me that UFO might be, like, difficult to learn and unsatisfying to learn, you know? And then there are other tricks that are kind of like, you know, there's, there's like, you know, what's this trick called, like, pop the clutch? Yeah, like, there's that, like, it's a cool trick, but do you guys do anything like that within the yo-yoing world ever again? Like, I don't think, I've ever put my yo-yo in this position unless I do that trick. So like it's kind of a useless element. They're not really gonna progress anything. It's kind of like learning Pythagoras theorem, you know, like you know it, but then all you're good at is like Pythagoras theorem. Unless you're in math and in engineering. Look, my point is, is that I, I also want to integrate within this elements that, you know, once they learn it once, they can then kind of transition that into the the, the, the big boy, the big dog yo-yo world. Which is ultimately my motive for this, because it'll be really cool if someone just like sees one of these videos, does some of the beginning tricks, and is like, hey, I wanna learn more, and then kind of jumps into this academy where it's like, hey, this is where the yo-yo players are. That, that was a little bit of a rant. I don't know how much, I don't know how much value this is gonna add. But then the question I have for, for you guys, you beginner players, a, are there any tutorials that you watched that you were just like, damn, that really broke it down for me. Like, the, the best way I can describe this is, you know how I broke down Magic Drop for you guys and you're just like, oh, I finally get this trick. Were there any more of those that weren't made by me? Were there any more of those that I can look at so I can, I can make sure to kind of teach these beginner elements as, as best as I can within this 30 second window that I have for, for this opportunity? The second thing is, what were your first eight yo-yo tricks? You know, what, what was, what were some of the tricks that you do? Like, for instance, you know, th this is a really good idea, like, around the world. Like, how easy of a trick is that for you guys? Like, you don't even have to think about it. But I tried to teach my roommate the other day, and he couldn't do it, because he didn't have the, he, first of all, he was kind of shaking on the first throw, right? Then, he, he had no idea what, like, a forward pass was, right? So he didn't have the idea of, like, a forward pass. And if you don't know how to do a forward pass, that's basically kind of just, just that. And then, he, he couldn't really understand how to like shoot it out with enough force that it would go around. And I was just like, just do it. And I was like, what do you mean just do it? And then, anyway, I'm, I'm a terrible teacher when it comes to the basics, but I've got about a couple days to get this, to get this up, to get this, this, this moving. So, so yeah, if you guys have any tutorials that really helped you, link them down below. If you guys have any recommendations for the first day tricks, comment them down below. And if you guys have, have any kind of other tips on how to teach beginners how to yo-yo succinctly, comment them down below because anyway, that's that's it from me. Alright, <laughs> comment those things down below, help me out and once once this is shot, I'll, I'll show you guys what it ended up with but but yeah, that that's it from me. Alright, <laughs> see you guys next time.